Hello everyone. <coughs> it's Grant from the Forehead with a brand new Bestman's Boulevard. Well, not really a Bestman's Boulevard. Kind of grown up and kind of mature over that, but it's a special episode of it. I wanted to say I went and saw a new movie today. Brand new one that just came out. The Expandable 2! And well, I can say this. The movie blew me the fuck away. I'm sorry for swearing, but it blew me away. What the fuck is this is a badass movie? I was like, yeah! Get him! Like, I was just thinking it was an like actual, like, not really a movie. But I felt like it was like a TV show. And there was like a badass fight or something like that going on. But it wasn't that at all. It was. It, a brand new sequel, it was a sequel to the first one. It had a lot of really great actors in it. I know it had Jean-Claude Van Damme, who is an amazing actor, by the way. He's just a bit underrated because no one really knows of him unless they've seen, like, Street Fighter, Double Impact, Maximum Impact. Well, Double Team, Maximum Impact. In all those kind of films. There's not many films he's in, but... He, he did good. I, I really think he did very good for his role as the villain. Usually when you see him, he's like a badass hero. And well, he wasn't that today. I'm surprised he wasn't. It was still good, though. I liked it. It was a good movie. And really, I thought the action sequences were astounding. Like, the fucking... Like, the vehicles that they had, they had a boat that was actually a hull, like a actual like speedboat, whatever, mixed in with two jet skis. And then they also had like fucking like they had these military vehicles that were like that had these brandings on them, like knock knock, bad attitude coming soon, like all these. Crazy things you wouldn't really expect from a Stallone movie. Well, like from an action film with Stallone in, or even Schwarzenegger or Willis. You wouldn't really expect that kind of thing. But what's even more funny about this is that you have Dolph Lundgren, who was also in the first one. If you don't really remember him, he's from Rocky IV. You have Jet Li from, like, all these action films like uh, Unleashed, Cradle of the Grave. You even have Liam Hemsworth, who is also Thor, by the way. You have, I said Jet Li, you also have <coughs> fucking Chuck Norris. I hate to say his name, but yeah, you have the Christian Chuck Norris, who is quote unquote the Lone Ranger. You also have, like I said, Jean Claude Van Damme, Stallone. You also have Terry Crews, who, if you don't really remember him from any movies, he's in The Longest Yard and he's also on the TV show Everybody Hates Chris. You also have, I think, who am I missing? You have him, you have Randy Corsair, and I said Jet Li, so. I think that's pretty much it, out of all the action stars that are in it. I know in the first one they had Mickey Rourke, well I also said Bruce Willis, they also had him, Schwarzenegger, he had everyone basically. He even had someone called Steve Austin, which was a nice touch, but it was a Stallone directed and written film. This one was not. This one was written by him, it was directed by him. It was directed by Simon West, and I gotta say, he did great. I think, um, Stallone did the produce, the, did produce it, and he also wrote it. But they made it so damn good. I was kinda rude, like, it made me a hard, like, it made me, like, feel like, man, if I ever get out of the military, I hope to be one of these badass motherfuckers, like, it was that badass. I just... I thought it was an amazing film. I think if you can't see it today, Friday, August 17th, try and watch it over this weekend, either tomorrow or Sunday, or sometime during the week, next week, because people are going to be talking about this movie. They're going to be quoting, like, Schwarzenegger was, I'm back! And... All this, they're gonna be like, yippee, like, all the freaking, like, 
And they'll all they'll be quoting basically everyone. And if you haven't seen it, and you're not really a cheapskate nor someone that's quote unquote a Jew because they like to save their money, I don't blame you. If you want to save your money, go ahead, save your money. Maybe wait for it to come out on Netflix when it comes out on DVD and Blu-ray and Sean on Demand and all that. Wait for it to come out then if you really want to like watch it then instead of watching it in a theater. Because watching it in a theater is expensive, but then again, whatever. And tomorrow, I know I'm going to be going to the theater and I'm either choosing Total Recall or I'm going to go choose The Born Legacy and I think I'm going to go see The Born Legacy because I was, I, I was, like, I was told it was a good movie. It should be something that you should go see. And you know what? I'm gonna go do it. I definitely think I will. And, well, I may not look like I'm expendables worthy from what I'm wearing. I'm wearing a bowling shirt and a t-shirt and shorts and whatnot. But, I felt like I was part of the expendable. I felt like I was, like, freaking Arnold Schwarzenegger in the movie. And this was, this video is getting a little bit long. I'm sorry if I hadn't muted it, but it was an amazing film. I gotta give it 10 out of 10. Like, I'm sorry, it was an amazing film. You may disagree with me, but give me a like, favorite it, all that, share it on Facebook when you see this, share, share it, just do whatever. Share it on Twitter, all that. And if you really like this video, I'm sorry for no audio, I just don't wanna get screwed over by a copyright strike. I've been doing that lately. If you guys actually like, the sh like me to continue on, this will be the last video for Best in the Boulevard for quite some time, because I am um, joining the Navy. In the Navy, you can sell the seven seas in the Navy! Yeah, but the, the end credits, that's what maybe just... Oh my god, I felt like I was in heaven. Because they did a want to celebrate the song I want to celebrate. They used some really good music in the whole movie itself. I got to give it a 10 out of 10. Everything. It was too good for me. Like, it was just perfect. Well, I better get off of here, ladies and gentlemen. But keep on rocking in the free world. I hope to see you all very soon. And if I don't, well, Godspeed.